How's it everyone? Welcome back to Hawaiian Horology. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the best PRX to be released to date. And if you want to see which one it is, then stay tuned. Here we go. So here it is folks, the Tissot, Damien and Lillard uh, PRX collaboration. This watch is actually a watch that I've been waiting for. I, um, I'm i a huge Damien Lillard fan, I'm a huge NBA fan. Before I was into watches, I love basketball and now that this watch came out when I saw it, I just had to get it. And I was lucky enough to be one of the first hundred people to um, I guess purchase this watch. I saw an ad of it on Instagram. And luckily I was able to get the uh, signed uh, box by Damien Lillard. So I guess, yeah, they, the first hundred people got a signed edition of the box. So going over the dimensions real quick before we get into the real meat of the watch. It is uh, 40 millimeters in diameter and a very thin 10.8 millimeters thick with a see-through case back, which we're going to be getting to in a little bit. But let's look at some of the special features of this uh, Damien Lillard exclusive as you can see right off the bat, the back of the second hand has, I guess it's Damien Lillard's logo. It's kind of a D, but looking like a dollar sign. And uh, I, I think it's pretty nice. Some of the comments I've seen on, uh, on these posts, they kind of think this is kind of divisive. I even talked to, um, talked to one of the sales associates when I went up to Vegas and he was like, oh, what do you think about the D on the back? I was like, I think it's pretty cool. I mean. It's for Damien Lillard, it has a D. It makes it stand out from a, a normal model. And another thing that is unique about this edition here, instead of the O, it is a zero for Dame. He's a, his number zero for the Blazers. I was a huge Damien Lillard fan when he was in um, Portland, because I'm a Blazers fan. But even now that he's in uh, Milwaukee, I still follow him. And he's just one of my favorite players to watch, you know. Everybody knows about that iconic uh, game winner he had against the Thunder over Paul George. That was probably one of the one of the highlights of um, his career, and it was a great uh, playoff performance. But more about the watch here. I I don't know if you can see on the rehot it has Dame and Time. I think on one of my macro shots we'll be able to see it see it a little bit better here. And one of the things that is different the the second hand is jet black and it makes it a little bit hard to see but um, the black is darker than the dial the waffle dial that they have here so this is a model that I have been not waiting for but I uh, bought these straps a long time ago to fit a PRX and I was gonna just put it on the um, the gold, just Powermatic 80 version, the original version of the gold with the kind of champagne waffle dial. But I, I had this watch, I mean, I've had this strap since Thanksgiving when the Deluxe had their Black Friday sale. And I've just been kind of like going back and forth. I've been trying to get a good deal on the, the Powermatic 80 because back in maybe a year ago or maybe two years ago, I had the gold version with the champagne dial which was the coarse version i really i kind of didn't um didn't bond with it too well so i ended up moving on but this contrast with gold and black just makes it stand out like head over heels above i believe all the other prx models here i have it um i have this model as well and uh, this is the quartz model, the, I guess, a uh, seafoam or turquoise-ish dial, which is very nice as well, but if you're looking for a classier, more dressy piece that really stands out and really has that extra kind of oomph and punch to it, uh, definitely go for this uh, Damien Lillard edition. I believe there's other writings on the Rehot here, but it's very hard to see. I mean, so that's Dame Time here. The dollar sign or the ding dollar sign here the O and if you take a glance on the back it has I guess this is Dame 
you know, making the dame time, um, making the dame time signal here, but with his hands up. And I think they could have done without this because I think this back is kind of, I think this back is kind of ugly, to be honest. Um, just my personal opinion. I don't really like the back of this watch, but more on it has Damon Lillard down here. It says special edition, but it just didn't have this picture on it. I think it would be a lot better, but um, if this is something you like, then go for it. But I cannot recommend this watch enough. I think it just takes the PRX to the, another level. And I do, um, I know that uh, Gold and Champagne because they have their two models like that, the Quartz and the Paramatic 80. I think Gold and Champagne looks nice, but nothing is better than Gold and Black. I feel it like, looks like very like, kind of, um, kind of a little vintage-y, but it really looks classic and nice. So a quick story, I wore this watch to Vegas. I was in the store, I believe they're called um, Turbion. It was in the Crystals Mall and the, worker over there she was kind of far she was like is that a prx i was like yeah i thought she was kind of humoring me you know because it is it, you know it's like a prx from far then she came like one step close she was like is that the damian lillard edition i was like yes it is so and then we got into it we're talking about it she said she was a big fan she went to a portland sorry excuse me she went to a phoenix and milwaukee game but he didn't play so she was really bummed and she ordered this watch as well but she didn't get it yet because I think they had some problems with the shipping. So she was really hoping when she did get it, she would get the autograph as well. But, and then this is probably maybe like three people in total kind of came up to me talking about this watch. And the thing about that um, Turbion store, it seems to me like a Omega or a Swatch Group type of watch. They had all Swatch Groups in there. If you know about that store, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, she, they, they weren't selling Tissots in there at all. So she was just a fan of Dame and fan of the PRX. So I hope that she did get the autographed edition. I'm not sure if they're still available, but what I'm gonna do next for you is uh, finally get it installed on this black uh, D-lug strap. And once I have it installed here, we can see which, uh, which bracelet option it looks best on. And one thing I wanna look, um, and one thing I wanna just touch on real quick, but if you look in the back, we have quick release if you look at the back here, without looking at the case back, we have a quick release system. So hopefully this won't take me too long and I'll be back with it on the Delugs rubber strap. All right, so here we go. I finally got it fitted on this uh, Delugs uh, fitted rubber strap uh, for the Tissot PRX. I do like the fact that this kind of waffly pattern on the strap does match with uh, the waffle-ish type of dial it is. And if you guys are wondering, I mean, I paid for this. This didn't send me this uh, for free or anything. These straps are kind of expensive, but they are really, really long. I have to cut a total of five uh, notches on each side. So I think uh, I think this black uh, rubber strap does uh, fit the watch very well, and it does um, it does give it a nice uh, contrast, and it does match well with the dial here, but. I do think that this watch is better suited on the gold bracelet. Just going all in on the gold. This will be maybe if you want to make it look a little bit more sporty. I will be rocking it on this uh, strap for a little while here. But um, this quality is not as great as I thought it would be. These, um, these class, when I saw it on, I think I saw it on Instagram. Somebody was uh, kind of a... Uh, showing it off there uh, I mean it's kind of hard to do it with one hand here but it's supposed to be kind of like a magnetic oops see like I bang the camera kind of like a magnetic closure that just closes but the thing is it's not closing flush I don't think it's just my thing it's just not that flush you kind of have to make it flush or make it caught against something here so um you know what, uh, thanks for watching. Here is it on the rubber strap, and if you like it on the gold or the rubber, let me know in the comments below. And let me know if you're a big Damian Lillard fan, which I am. And let me know what other maybe kind of uh, collaborations would you would like to see with uh, PRX, maybe some other NBA players, maybe uh, 
maybe LeBron should get one, but LeBron would probably do one with uh, AP if he hasn't already done one already. But anyway, thanks for watching another episode of Hawaiian Horology, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Shoots!